I have with me Bernie Ogoma. He is a data center consultant with IBM. Bernie, thank you very much for joining us. No problem, thank you. IBM recently completed uh, a data center, a new data center for uh, the University of Toronto's uh, SciNet program. Bernie, could you tell us, just uh, give us a quick overview, overview of SciNet and uh, what this facility is for? Yes, um, <coughs> SciNet is a computing consortium that does uh, high performance computing, supports research in uh, several areas, physics, uh, energy, climate modeling is a large portion. And um, we chose for this project to build a facility in an existing warehouse off campus, uh, take advantage of the lower real estate and the high power availability because very high density computing is being done in this facility. Um, <clears throat> this is a 12,000 square foot uh, facility converted from a warehouse type uh, operation into a, a data center. And uh, what, what is the, uh, the total uh, wattage here? What is the total power? This was designed to support a two megawatt of IT load. Bernie, tell us what kind of uh, equipment this facility is supporting. Okay, so here we are in the, the uh, compute area of the data center. You can see here rows, we have I believe four rows of iDataplex, which is a high performance Intel based uh, computing system. Um, what's very interesting here is that we have, well you can see there's a large amount of power to support this uh, very dense technology and there's no air conditioners. We're sitting in a, a very comfortable room temperature data center and all the heat is being removed from these dataplex racks by uh, rear door heat exchangers on the back. All the infrastructure for the data center is through the raised floor, which is actually not used for cooling. It's for the power and the uh, networking of the facility. So here we are in the, what would normally be the hot aisle of a, of a data center. We're in the back of the racks, but you can't feel it yourself, but there's no heat coming out of these racks. In fact, the air could be cooler coming out of the back of this cabinet than going in, because we're using a rear door heat exchanger which captures all the heat from the servers as it exits the rack. So you can feel this is probably about 100 degrees Fahrenheit air coming out of the cabinet cooled immediately through the rear door heat exchanger. So interesting feature of this high performance cluster is it's a stateless system. The servers themselves do not, there's no uh, software resides on them. There's a management zone here where we have all of our storage and management nodes for the entire data center. So an unusual situation for a new data center, this is the only part of the data center that has UPS backup. Everything else, there's a power failure, it just shuts down and it gets rebooted when the power returns. area we're in the rear of the uh, Unix part of the uh, cluster uh, which does most of the climate modeling also we're using a rear door heat exchanger with this technology and direct liquid cooling of the chips through a modular water unit which is uh, located at the bottom of the uh, P6 rack provides liquid cooling right to the chip level in these units this type of uh, rack can have up to 100 kilowatts per cabinet You can see part of the chilled water system for this facility. This is the big piece of how we can be so efficient. Chilled water cooling directly in the computer center and a very efficient chilled water plant here. So during the warmer months of the year, the mechanical chiller provides the cooling. During a day like today, which is a minus eight degrees Celsius, we're running 100% free cooling. And we have a heat exchanger beside the chiller, automatically switch over to the the water gets flow through the heat exchanger from the cooling tower, which is above us on the roof. So it gives us uh, really about a, the, the pump is the only power that we're drawing, pump power and the uh, cooling tower fans to provide the cooling for this entire two megawatt facility. So here we have a, a heat exchanger. An interesting thing here is that uh, about one megawatt of uh, power, cooling power, um, the heat exchanger is very compact, so when you think about the heat exchanger for free cooling, or in this case we're using it for the iDataplex loop to provide a slightly warmer loop above the uh, dew point in the data center for the rear door heat exchanger. So last thing we want to do is have condensation on the back of the computer rack. But the idea is that it's a very compact technology, 
extremely efficient, so uh, easy to deploy. Okay, so in the electrical side, the ways that we've achieved the maximum efficiency is to use um, the most efficient transformers and electrical distribution that we could. So we brought this 600 volts in this facility. We use 600 volts to the as close to the data center as possible. We step down the trans with a high efficiency transformer, feeding the panel board, which is on the other side of this wall, and then we distribute three phase power to the rack. So keeping the voltage as high as possible and high voltage as long as possible. And on the UPS side, we're using a transformerless, high efficiency uh, uh, static UPS technology to reduce the losses. And as I mentioned before, that the UPS power is used uh, selectively for the management nodes, which control the storage and the status of the, the equipment. 